welcome back to my channel um i just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update basically this is my new aviary it's not done yet but let's just get started there's a lot of things going on which is why i haven't been able to upload this is my new setup it is quite big my plants are there because i want this place always be planted because why not plants are pretty um the other thing is if you couldn't tell there's a lot of window spaces here and obviously i don't want my birds to crash into those so i am trying very hard to cover them up but my shipping situation is getting a bit slow <laughs> as i like to call it um so i did order three of those um tree decal stickers i don't even know how you pronounce it but they're like these birch trees i got this from amazon this is like 90 inches like at least my area it's like 90 inches tall so it is a bit harder to cover up the empty spaces here i want to put um probably like stickers of like birds or like big sticker wall decals whatever you want to call it i think it will look really nice i did order another set from etsy i'll show you guys an image right now on the screen um it does look a bit childish because it does it, it is for nurseries but i actually really like the watercolor sort of sort of design if that makes any sense so i wanted to order that so that's coming in i don't know when but they did dispatch it the etsy owner so i'll have a link to her um etsy store i'll have a link to these trees again my space is 90 inches tall i think the sticker decal is 96 inches tall i just had to cut it a bit on the top um, now for the top parts, this part and like this part, I ordered something, it's actually at the bottom right now because believe it or not, I don't have a spray bottle, my spray bottle broke because I used to, I was using, it's been broken for like four days so I have to go get one actually <laughs> because my birds haven't been taking a bath. But um, basically you use that and then you wet the surface and you kind of stick it on. This is kind of like a window, window film, I think if I'm not pronouncing it weird or i hope that's what it is but i'll show you guys an amazon image of what it's supposed to look like so basically it, it kind of gives more privacy and that's because i don't want to put decals up there like it's, i don't i don't know i just i don't know i'm just gonna do that so i only have one which i want to put it there and then i ordered another one and that's gonna go over there and then obviously the store is open right now but then there will be like sticker decals whatever so it is a huge space that i have to cover so it is gonna take a lot of time and then i don't know if i so showed you guys the ceiling but the ceiling also has some work to be done um there's those i i don't know do they do birds fly like straight i don't know okay we'll think about that part i haven't actually even thought about that but that's obviously getting removed um i'm just gonna unscrew it and then i'm gonna put like perches like these big wooded perches whatever so basically in short it's gonna take a whole lot long 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 time like it's gonna take probably forever but this is their new setup and then there's my plants make sure your plants are safe for birds now you might be wondering what is the other change you made with your cage did i say i made another change i think i did i don't know if you guys could tell maybe you guys can maybe you guys can't do you see blossom and then do you see muffin and then kiwi edward and basil now if you have been following me for some time you guys would have known that i put my cockatiel with so basically kiwi edward and muffin uh basil oh god so many bird names okay so let me try that again kiwi edward and blossom within this cage so two budgies and one cockatiel and then basil and muffin within there now you might be wondering why did you change the setup the reason was actually really simple now what i have noticed is that kiwi edward and um, basil they would kind of go on the sides of the cages and they would try interacting the other thing was blossom gets comp this by the way was not a situation because my birds didn't get along like my cockatiels and budgie some people would ask me i got really lucky fights can break out in that instance you have to remove because they're not the same species right but in my case i've never had that issue they've been very good but the problem was blossom was not really too crazy about my budgies both my cockatiels are really independent i mean one of them is blind so she can't even tell and then as you can see edward's actually tripping to basil like it seems like a better fit 
should not separate my budget because they were really interested and um basil just really didn't want to have anything to do i know this is so sad but with muffin they wouldn't stay together they wouldn't perch together so it just seemed a bit mean i i don't know it just seemed a bit mean it felt more okay to put them together i do want to emphasize like i said my my birds are quite okay with each other and they get along pretty fun i did not let me repeat i did not switch them over because i thought that they were gonna injure themselves they were gonna fight this can happen actually this can pretty much happen with even if they're the same species guys by the way like even if there's like two three budgies the fights could still happen like i said in those instances you still have to separate it just because they're the same species doesn't mean you could put them in there and then they fight and you still keep them in there it's not gonna turn out really well but in this case i just did it purely because i thought that they would do better like it seems like this method for my birds like it's not always about me that's what i always say sometimes i have to think about it from my birds perspective my cockatiels don't give a crap about my budgies but my budgies really liked basil they really wanted to interact with basil they kept like they were kind of facing the wall size if this makes sense of both of their cages and they always kept chirping to each other it just seemed really unnecessarily to kind of put them separately so i thought you know what let's give it a go it was definitely a bit worrisome um i had to change the whole cage layout but the worrisome part was not for basil i knew although everything was going to change my birds are quite tolerable my budgies but putting blossom into a you know i guess a more accessible cage because i can't change everything in muffin's cage as you guys know she has some vision issues i have to really take her back to the vet but um she's basically blind at the moment i haven't really got an, an update about her eyes so because of that i can't change everything i did change the toys but you guys could see the struggle right i can't change everything so it's like kind of getting a bird that's visually compromised in her original cage and then having a completely i mean they know each other i guess in a way they've always been together but like it was a bit more i was a bit more worried for them because i was like how is blossom gonna interact with muffin and just as i expected it i'm sorry i had a hiccup but just as i expected it they don't they don't care for each other my birds are really like we don't care about each other now they're all preening if you guys could tell they're all preening but they didn't care for each other they get along really well um blossom really likes going at the bottom of the cage if you couldn't tell um uh, muffins it's actually she's actually sometimes lays low and then sometimes she's up there um blossom does really well with muffin muffin really does with blossom like they get along pretty well i haven't even seen them actually interact a whole lot like i mean obviously they're in the whole they're in the same cage but i mean like you know those stereotypical like i'll show you guys in a google image like they're cuddling and stuff like birds they're not really like that so they they're just like okay hey buddy let's share the space they're kind of like roommates but they like their own space in a in, in a in, in a sense so it's been working out fine i had them like this actually believe it or not for a solid two months so i'm almost certain like hopefully god forbid nothing happens but if it does like i said financially i'm capable of getting another cage it's not it's not a big deal for me but so far everything has been working out perfectly fine so there's that so both my cockatiels are now in a different cage my budget's in a different cage now i don't have mixed species in a cage that's the newer update so yeah i hope you guys like this kind of said it's not even done but like i still wanted to give you guys an update because i know some people are wondering where the hell i have been i think i haven't uploaded for like five to six weeks but yeah let me show you guys a close-up of my birdies i'm sure you guys missed them or hopefully because that would kind of be sad if you don't hey no, okay wait okay hey buddy okay she's gonna come to the cage side and it's gonna be hard to see her but yeah I have the door open so i don't want to get them out right now but they've been really good guys it's it's been working out really well oh i showed you guys the toys i got from um etsy my friend does them her name's lisa i don't know i'll have her instagram and her etsy page but 
which is watching this basically they really like it so they like that toy and then i have one other toy there uh, today i put their top pellets so hopefully they eat some um i put them like probably like 20 minutes ago i did see muffin go um add it a little bit and then there is my little baby and then that's their muffin did they touch it no they didn't touch it guys you guys are making me look bad they all eat top pellets by the way guys they're probably not in the mood but that that's about about it i mean they've been i don't know getting along really well as you could see yeah i wanted to give you by the way this is what the top looks like i haven't shown you guys but it's quite tall believe it or not i'm only like five foot four feet eleven ish um to be exact four four feet eleven point five so i am a short girl so i did have to use like this stay or whatever thing i'm not a pro at these terminology but it, it was quite still tall for me, I'm short, so. But I did manage, and like I said, I'm gonna obviously cover up the space. This area is like completely empty, those areas are completely empty. This is actually why I don't fly them in the space. I, I take them indoors. They get like three to four hours. Typically, I leave them out for like eight, seven to eight hours to fly around and stuff, but it has kind of been a bit short because now I, they don't have their usual space anymore so it has been a bit more short but four hours is not too bad guys i, I would suggest a minimum of, minimum of two hours at least but four hours is not too bad it is shorter than their usual but there's not much i could do about that so there's that there's the new update let me show you guys a at least i'll try getting the whole area sorry the video got cut off but this is the whole view or i'm gonna try making a bigger view like i said i'm still getting those sorted out so you know there is that um but if you do guys have other suggestions let me know let me know it would definitely help um so yeah guys i hope you guys like this new video talk to you guys next time Bye bye